know, I've got a pretty good job, pretty good house. You know, I live my life. Oh, I made it. I made it for a second there and then butchered it. Hello, everybody, and welcome to our next Minecraft map, Parkour Helix 2 by uh, Jura95. I probably butchered that, but that's all right. Um, because I hate myself, oh, good lord, I'm doing a parkour map. Hooray. I think I can get a little bit more out of my... Yeah, let's get an extra chunk loaded there. Yeah, look at that. Wow, what am I in for? Uh, so let's just check out the info. Oh, no, that's actual. Um, he does have some other Minecraft maps. I'm noticing a pattern here. They're all parkour. So I'm kind of in a weird part in between like Minecraft recordings. Like there's no new adventure maps for me to do. Um, none of the survival maps I've seen have really caught my eye. And, well, I'm a glutton for punishment, so we're going to try a parkour map. Uh, so how do I start this? Oh, I just... I just go for it. So, allegedly, the water is the restart. Well, there you go. Ooh. That was weird. My headset decided it wanted to do a firmware update. To which I said no. Like, no music or anything. Hang on, let's see if we can't get some music out of here. Oh, my headset just died. That's great. I love it when my headset just dies on me. Well, that's doing its thing. Uh, let's try and make this most basic of jumps. No, stop trying to firmware update. I don't know why my headset decides it wants to uh, firmware update right now. Look at that, I'm nailing all these jumps. Oh, and the diamonds are spawn points. We're at level two now. Look at, why is my headset being so stupid? Hang on, I need to fix my headset here. It's all right. I fixed it. Yeah, my headset decided it'd be an awesome idea to update in the middle of recording. Okay, so where am I? All right, perfect. So yeah, I'm kind of in a weird spot as far as... Oh. Uh, as far as, like, new Minecraft content goes, or just, like, new content in general. You see, I'm too poor to afford new games because I have a house payment. So I can't, like, pivot into, you know, playing any sort of new games. But I also... Oh, nice! But there's also no new Minecraft maps out right now. And the big one I'm waiting for is an update from uh, Mick5 on Diamond Sword RPG to bring it up to... I don't know, Diamond Sword... 1.6 or something. So, uh, so I'm kind of, I'm, I'm playing, uh, ooh, hoo, 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 I made that. Can't believe I made that. So I'm, I'm kind of waiting for, uh, wow, that sounds kind of loud here. Hang on, let me turn down my headset. So I'm kind of at a point where I'm just like waiting for new content to come out. So I'm kind of hoping like some Thanksgiving maps come out or maybe like some cool Christmas maps or some different maps to play. But uh, I guess, yeah, if you guys want me to do, uh, wait, where am I going here? I just came from, I came out of there in here. I jumped up here. I jumped onto here for some reason. Why did I jump onto here? If I touch the water, I die.
Why did it get me to jump up to here? That ain't it. Hold on, where did I come from? Alright, so I was on this side of the fence. Come up, come around. See nothing over here, that's obvious. Come up over here, jump, jump. Unless if my... Ooh! Ah, my first death! That ain't it. What is the solution here? Pretty sure I need to get up on that roof there, but how do I do it? Wow, maybe this is just as much of a puzzle map as anything else I've played. What do I do? What is the solution? This was going so smooth up until here. I need to get up on the roof. Unless... Oh, that's not my jump. I can't... don't think I can make that jump. But then why would I put this piece of wood if there wasn't somewhere to jump? So... This was all going so well up until about now. How do I get up there? Doesn't appear to be a super obvious answer, other than I do need to get up there. Jump there. Well, I think it wants me to jump here for some reason. But then, where do I go once I jump up here? And why will it not run? There we go. Oh, I fell on the other side of the fence. Hang on, try this again. Oh, that wasn't it. Need to jump up. Ooh, that might be it. Maybe I jump from here to there. No, it still seems like too long of a jump. Oh, that ain't it. Where do I go? <laughs> Like, why am I here? Why are any of us here? Let's use the water in some way? No, because the water kills me. Don't want to use the water. This was all going so smoothly. I was crushing this. I'm not making that jump. I'm not making any jump that involves this piece of wood except to here. Then from here, now what? This doesn't make sense. I know I need to get up here.
Jump on the roof? Jump here, jump here, jump here, jump here. Damn it. Something not obvious that I'm missing. Water equals death, but I also have no clue where to go right now. Nope. Don't think I'm intended to jump back on that roof. Also, my keyboard. I stopped running for no reason. Come on, where do I go? Well, I'm not going to go up on the tree. You see that? I stopped running again. Why? I feel like I'm missing something, because why is that water just chilling there like that? So close to being able to get up there. I have no idea where to go. It's fairly obvious that I need to get up on that roof. But I don't see any way to do that. Is it just me? Like seriously, am I missing something that's blatantly obvious? So I come over here, but then what? ladder or something that I'm missing. I don't feel like there's anything to be missing here. You know what? If it was obvious where, how to get up here, I would have done it. Like, I am not bad at... I am not this bad at parkour. Shit. Let me try that again. Yeah, I am not bad at parkour. Except for the part where I am. I hate that I have to create of my ass up here. Like again, I'm justifying this because I know if the past if there was a path to get up there, I would have taken it by now. Gonna... Thank you. Alright, now where do I go from here? Alright, lava jump. Piece of cake. Is this jump possible? Yeah, it is. And I got this big jump. <laughs> nice. All right, so now we're getting some... Now we got some momentum going here. I love the creativity in, that was put into this map. Like, these are all genuinely interesting... Ooh, missed that jump up. All right. What? Oh, I must have miscalculated something ever so slightly. There we go. Damn. Is 
that jump must be just makeable. Like that jump, for example. Ooh, I'm really... How am I missing this now? Must be hitting like an invisible wall or something. There we go. Not a problem. Oh! Why did I stop running? <laughs> My character should be run at all times. Oh, look at that! He stopped running again. Shit. There we go. Not a problem. Probably want to try this point right there. Ha ha! Made it. Ooh. Oof. Oh, wait. No, that isn't the path. Wait. Aha! Big jumps! Not big enough, apparently. So it, we just had our first snowfall up here. Um, you know, still a couple weeks from Thanksgiving. And uh, I gotta say, you know, I've, I always said that ever since I started owning a house, you know, I've always said that winter is probably my would probably be my favorite months. You know, I still hate the cold, you know? Like, I absolutely love living in the Midwest. Like, it's just so friendly up here. You know? Uh, you know, people are just so friendly up here. And it's just like... Wait, what? So I came this way. What's with... Oh! Wait. That jump possible? Oh, it is possible. Ha! Huh. What an odd jump. Well, now that I know how to do that jump, that's not so bad. But I really love living in the Midwest, you know? Why did I stop running? The only thing that's killing me in this character in this game is where my character just decides to stop running. But anyways, yeah, you know, I always said I would love I love I'm ready for winter, you know. It seems like it's going to be just generally less busy around here. Uh, I can focus more on more on uh, content creation cuz you know, with winter happening and not a lot of shit happening outdoors or a lot of uh, uh, commitments going on. You know, it sh should free up some time for me. But you know what? I still hate the cold. You know, the cold sucks. There we go. Why am I having such a tough time making these just basic jumps now? It's not even the complex jumps that I'm having problems with. It's the basic, most basic of jumps. All right, let's slow it down. There we go. Nice. Nice. Last jump. Nice! Actually making some pretty good progress here. Oh. That's kind of different. I like that. That's cool. Putting the little, uh... What I can only assume to be a, uh... Ooh. Okay, there we go. Oh, torches kind of light the way a little bit here. Oh, there we go. I love the different biomes of this game. Like, I would have never really considered myself a parkourist, or whatever they call. But uh, I am genuinely having a good time with this. Like, this is neat. OK. 
Okay, uh, shit. Big jump, big jump. Bigger jump. Biggest jump to date. Ooh. Oh no, I stopped running! Well, at least there's kind of like a... Not necessarily a save point, but at least I don't... It's not a punishing jump that sends you back to the beginning. I have no problem with that. Nice. I'm actually having a lot of fun doing this map. Like, this is actually a blast. You know, it's kind of relaxing. It's almost a little cathartic. Where do I go here? Like, I find this to be just a little cathartic. You know, I've, I'm kind of unplugging my brain here. Oh, wait. I don't jump on top of that, do I? I just make the jump. Ooh. That's not scary at all. Okay, uh... Ooh, so close. You know, it's... Because I'm focusing so hard, uh, narration or uh, trying to add commentary to this is a, is a little bit harder. It, I'm having a real tough time, like, unplugging my brain. So it's a, uh, so, uh, you know, a little bit more about me, you know, I, I play guitar, right? You know, I'm, I consider myself an average guitar player, you know, just generally, I consider myself a very average person, you know, I'm never, not really good at, you know, I'm average at a lot of things, you know, I'm, I consider myself a pretty average guitar player, you know, I, I enjoy playing guitar and I respect the fact that I'm average, I, I will probably never play in a band because of, uh, I never feel like I will ever be good enough to get to that level where I can play in a band. Damn. But, uh, anyways, you know, you know, I, I, anyways, where I was going with this was, uh, you know, I have a tough time. Nice! I made that jump! Ow. As I fall backwards and completely whiff it, everything. But anyways, where was I going here? Where was I going with my story? Right. So a real problem that I have in playing guitar is that I'm so focused on playing that, or my mind is so incredibly focused on playing that I haven't been able to master the art of playing and singing at the same time. I phrase it as I am unable to disconnect my, my mind from my hands. Like I'm not able to put my hands in autopilot and focus on, on singing. It's... I don't know why. Yeah, you know, I've I haven't really you know practiced it all that much either. So that could be uh, that could be something. But I really haven't been able to do that that disconnect. So this one time, a friend of mine invited me to play up at a local bar once. Uh, she was actually the one who was who was playing the gig there. I went there to show support, you know, and uh, you know she invited me up stage on stage to play. Now. Um, I don't really know a lot of songs that would be good for bar environments. I mostly focus on, like, metal. And this was an acoustic gig. You know, I can play acoustic guitar o okay, you know, I can do... I can do chords and stuff decent enough. I know all the basic... I know a lot of basic chords. Just chords are not, like, some... not a primary focus of mine. I stopped running there. I don't know if you noticed. But chords are not a... are not a primary focus of mine. You know, with uh, metal guitar playing, it's all about playing, uh, primarily with metal guitar, it's about playing power notes and being able to play those very fast, because, uh, nice. Now, don't blow that jump. There we go. All right, now I gotta focus here real quick. Damn it. But anyway, so metal guitaring is about playing a lot of chords as fast as, or a lot of notes as fast as possible. So oftentimes you're playing single notes, doing power chords and playing two strings at once. Again, I kind of do this kind of averagely. I actually want to create a channel at one point, you know, Average Joe does. Because again, I'm I'm average at a lot of different things, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, you know, I'd rather be a, a, a jack of all trades, a master of none. And I, I kind of live my life like that, you know, I'm, I like to be okay at a bunch of different things rather than being a master at one particular thing. Even in my 
even in my job right now, I, I kind of cover a, I have a more complex sort of product that I deal in at work because I like that the product touches so many different aspects of other different products. You know, I kind of like being that, that, uh, that jack of all trades, master of none. But anyways, where was I going with this? So, I don't know where I was going with this whole elaborate story now. Oh, right, I was talking about commentary. So anyways, yes, I have, uh, so I feel like my commentary is going to suffer because I have a tough time. Actually, right now I notice that I'm kind of successfully doing it. But in guitar playing, I have a pretty tough time actually, like, disconnecting my brain from my hands, being able to play and sing at the same time. So, you know, and then I, damn it. I was kind of going off on that tangent where I'm an average guitar player and now I'm going off on the tangent about how average I am just at like a bunch of different things. And again, there's nothing wrong with being average at a bunch of different things, you know. I don't consider being an average person a bad thing, you know. Uh, I myself, I consider, I consider myself a very average person. I am just an average, I'm just an average Joe living, uh, living life, you know, kind of averagely. I've got a pretty good job, pretty good house. I live my life. Oh, I made it. I made it for a second there and then butchered it. But yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with being average, you know? Being, being you know, middle of the bell curve. You know, because you're not bad, you're not great. You know? Uh, people may say, you know, average doesn't pay, but at the same time, at least I might not be accelerating at life, or I might not be accelerating, or great, doing great, but at least I'm not doing bad. Now, and that's always been kind of my philosophy on it, you know? I I kind of have an average understanding of a lot of different topics of conversation, enough to make, you know, polite converse. So one of the things that I also pride myself on is, you know, being able to make pol polite table conversation about uh, many different topics. You know, I am definitely not an expert on any particular topic, but I am, but I would consider myself, you know, have a, a running understanding of many topics. You know, enough that, you know, if somebody wants to talk about those topics, I can, uh, I can talk about them with them. And again, I, I know enough to, about, a lot of different shit to, uh, you know, ask semi-intelligent questions. You know, if somebody says, you know, you know, don't dare to be average, there's nothing wrong with being average. You know, you may not be in, like in my instance, you know, I might not be an expert at, I had friends help me with computers, you know, I might not be an expert of, on building computers, but I had enough of an understanding to, you know, kind of select my own parts and then ask the right questions about, you know, what parts do I need? So, you know, if you want to be, you know, there's nothing wrong with a C student, you know. You know, that's another thing. I, I'm going to complain about the American grading system for a second here. You know, where I came from, you know, an 85 was a B minus. Like, are you shitting me? I understood. Let's think about that for a second. I understood 85% of the content that you were teaching. And you're going to give me a B. You know, in life, if you could do 85% of anything right, you're doing really, really good. Shit, if you can do 70% of anything right, you're doing real fucking well. So I always found, like, the grading system in high school and... Shit, what am I... I need to focus more on that jump. I always found, the, I always found like, the grading system in American schools to be complete and utter horseshit. Shit, I found high school to be complete and utter horseshit. Now, I firmly believe that... Why am I struggling so much with these jumps? You know, I'm going to focus here real quick. Need to make this jump right here. Shit. But yeah, I found grading systems in American high schools to be complete and utter horseshit. You know, for anybody who's still, like, just great, um, gr American education in general is kind of horseshit. You know, the uh, school isn't really taught to 
school isn't really built to teach you anything, and I'm I'm a firm believer of that. It's it's designed to basically make off it, basically make assembly workers. You're you're educated just enough to you know to know a thing or two, but not educated enough to ask questions. Now, I, I still firmly believe that the American education system hasn't really evolved since it was implemented, and it was implemented to basically crank out factory workers. I, I believe a big contributor to the American education system was, uh, uh, what is his name? The guy, uh, Ford? Oh my god, I finally made it. Checkpoint, baby! Alright, so this recording is getting pretty long. We're at level 13 out of 60. And, uh, you know, I'll tirade my thing about the American public schools for next time. So when we come back next, um, you know, hopefully we'll uh, clear through a few more levels here. But, uh, well, this one doesn't look so bad. But uh, I think that'll wait until next time. So thank you very much for joining me, and I'll see you in the next episode.